And finally, a plan has been unveiled today to combat domestic violence. $4.7 billion will be invested by the Commonwealth and the states. It's a good start, but we've been here before. Good intentions and cash injections don't save women's lives. We can't keep doing the same thing and hoping for some kind of miraculous different outcome. It doesn't work like that. We've got to do two things, I think, and do them superbly to make any kind of difference. And they may seem counterintuitive to you, but stay with me as, as someone who has spent years of her life suffering at the hands of perpetrators, I reckon I know a thing or two. Firstly, tough laws, tough bail, tough punishments. That is crucial. Like with any bad behaviour, if the deterrent is weak, it will not work. Secondly, we must help men before they commit the acts of violence, before they offend beyond repair. Some men who hurt women are evil. Some are not. We need to make it OK for men who struggle to control their anger and emotions to get help early. We need to create a safe space for men who start to feel urges to be OK enough to get help before they act on them, before it's too late. We've got to remove the stigma for those on the edge. Otherwise, they will not ask for help. We can cut the head off this snake if we are smart. But we've got to be willing to try something new. Otherwise, every four days, another woman will die. And once a year, if that, we'll wear our white ribbon and we'll pat ourselves on the back for trying and we'll carry on completely OK until maybe the unthinkable hits closer to home, until more of us are personally affected. And only then will the collective urge to tackle this be great enough to make a difference. Don't wait until then. Don't wait until it gets personal. Demand more now.